Hi guys, Darko here, welcome to my new calibration video. In this one I will show you settings after calibration on LG 43 UJ6517, that's UJ65 series from LG 2017 lineup. And this calibration will be for watching standard dynamic range content with Rec 709 color space. So think of typical Blu-rays, uh, standard definition broadcasting, high definition broadcasting, internet video and so on. Settings I'm about to show you are for reference only. I like to stress this out because there is no guarantee that they will work exactly as they worked on my unit. However, they are at least a good guideline for adjusting certain settings and certain controls this TV offers. And also if you want these settings as PDF document, you can get it for a small fee. Just follow the link listed in the description. Okay, I will now go to all settings and show you picture mode settings. Expert bright room was selected for calibration. Aspect ratio, I recommend 16 by 9 with the just scan at auto or on to avoid overscan. And it's also very important to turn off energy saving to get brighter image. By default TV is in echo mode, which offers very unnatural looking colors and overall tone is too cold. Same goes for standard and vivid. Much better are cinema and expert bright room and expert dark room. So now I will show you what I did in expert bright room. Backlight 100, actually this TV at least in expert presets cannot go really bright so I had to max backlight. However, if you want dimmer picture, just decrease this value. Or if you want brighter picture, then select some other picture mode. Contrast I set to 80, this is white level control. Brightness 50, this is black level control. Horizontal and vertical sharpness at zero. But if you want TV to artificially sharpen image, then you can increase these values. Color 50, tint zero, these are default values. And now going to expert controls, dynamic contrast off, super resolution off, color gamut auto, edge enhancer off, color filter off, and gamma 2.2. Now in white balance settings we have color temperature warm 2, and there are two methods for adjusting white balance and gamma. I used two points to adjust white balance, and here I will show you for low points which cover dark area of the picture. All values are at default zero. And for bright or high points, we have red zero, green minus one and blue minus four. Now I will switch methods to 20 point IRE and then go for each of IRE values which adjusting luminance setting I changed. Red, green and blue are zero for all of IRE levels. So for IRE 100 we have adjusting luminance zero, 95 adjusting luminance plus two, 90 adjusting luminance plus two, 85 adjusting luminance plus six, 80 adjusting luminance plus 10, 75 adjusting luminance plus 10, 70 has adjusting luminance plus 17, 65 has adjusting luminance plus 19, 60 has adjusting luminance plus 15, 55 has adjusting luminance plus 20, 50 has adjusting luminance plus 18, 45 adjusting luminance plus 19, 40 adjusting luminance plus 15, 35 adjusting luminance plus 17, 30 has adjusting luminance plus 13, 25 has adjusting luminance plus 12, 20 has adjusting luminance plus 11, 
15 has adjusting luminance plus 4, 10 has adjusting luminance minus 2, and IRE 5 has adjusting luminance minus 20. Okay, so this is all regarding white balance and gamma adjustment. You can copy all these settings to other inputs using this option. Next we have color management system. As usual it doesn't really work perfectly, so it's better not to touch settings too much, although we would all like to get it as close to reference values as possible, but with LG TVs, even their high-end TVs, this system is not working really well. So for red I only did luminance plus one. For green also luminance plus one. For blue luminance plus one. And now secondary colors cyan has saturation zero, tint plus 12 and luminance plus three. Next is magenta which has saturation 0, tint minus 10 and luminance 0. Just for example, if you take a look at this horseshoe CIE chart and as I increase luminance, you will see what happens, how banding occurs. So it's really a delicate control and yeah, better not to touch it or touch it just a little. And finally we have yellow, so adjustment here is only to luminance, which is at plus one. Going back to picture options, here we have noise reduction off, you can engage it for noisy content, it's very effective. MPEG noise reduction off, not really effective, maybe for highly compressed content, but I'm not sure you will see any difference if you engage it. Black level low, real cinema on for 24p movie content, motion eye care off, and true motion, which is motion interpolation, only offers soap opera effect. So here you see we only have the other control in user menu. For watching movies, I like to disable it altogether. And here you can copy part of the settings to other inputs. Be careful because color management system and white balance controls will not be copied, so pay attention to that. And reset, resets picture to default values. There is a full review already published on my YouTube channel and also on my website. Um, in short, uh, not big difference after calibration because by default it was well adjusted, but of course Gamma had to be uh, corrected. As you saw, I did uh, major changes to adjusting luminance control. And I can conclude that uh, even before calibration, but also after calibration, this TV delivers solid picture quality. Of course, it's limited by low contrast of IPS panel, but at least you have wider viewing angles than other LCD technologies. So it's more convenient, especially in wide living rooms. That's it for this video, for any questions ask me below in the comment section and I'll see you in some other video very soon. Bye!